Japan, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely What's good ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing a reaction video called a Walking Alone from School Horror Story Animation Horror Story by Triller Trailer So, let's see how this story goes well This incident happened to me one year ago. Our final exams were coming up, and I still needed to do a lot more preparation. Usually our school's library would close by five, but because of the exams, the school day the library would be kept open until midnight, so that if kids wanted, they could stay to study and prepare for the exams. My house wasn't far away from the school, so instead of studying at home, I had a quiet, calm library and mostly prepared for the exams there. That day, I left my house at 6 o'clock and soon reached the library to prepare for the exams. I was so absorbed in studying, I didn't realize that it was now 10 o'clock. I had never stayed in the library for that long. Usually I would be on my way home at around 8. Even at 8 o'clock there would be at least some students in the library. But at 10, there was absolute silence. I only had about 10 to 15 minutes of work left. So I decided I'll just finish this quickly and then return home. I was completely lost in my work when I heard someone limping. Ah. Uh, what the what? Oh, uh. -huh. Is someone living? I quickly grabbed my books and ran out of the library. There's a very long corridor outside our school library. At the end of that corridor, when you turn right, you'll find the school exit door. I went through the corridor and was quickly getting near the exit when I saw a woman standing at the end of that corridor. Ooh, corridor? Oh, sh oh sh I didn't know who she was, but as I got nearer, I felt more and more uncomfortable. Oh. I got so uncomfortable that I called out, Who's there? As soon as I said that, she was gone within a few seconds. I sighed a breath of relief uh, and continued uh -uh. out the front door. Uh -uh. Due to exhaustion and hunger, I couldn't even walk properly. But I noticed that exhaustion? the street you didn't even eat? was strangely or even drink? empty, which was extremely odd because the street is normally very busy. Even at night, you can see people walking on the street. Due to panic. Hold up, why you can't call your parents? Like, you could literally just call your parents saying that, Hey, Mom, Dad, can you pick me up? Yeah, uh, I just don't want to feel like walking because it's too dark out there. And I'm afraid somebody's going to have, afraid somebody's trying to kidnap you. But, you can't just walk home, home in the middle of the night. That's crazy. In fear, I kept looking at the ground while walking. I was nearly home when suddenly... Ah, oh, dang ass, again. Y'all not playing till y'all get your money. I saw a shadow on the ground, stretching out to me. Huh? Even though there was no one around me. A shadow? What are you talking about? A sh oh. Yo. When I lifted my head, I saw a woman walking in front of me. 
Oh, what's her leg? What the what? I found her very strange. She looked as if she was disabled and that she was having trouble walking. And she was walking so slowly that I caught up to her in no time. Now I was so close to her that I could see her clearly. Uh, uh, nah, nah. She was wearing tattered, dirty clothes. Oh my god. And her hands and feet were twisted. Also, her hair looked very messy. I found it so strange that I stopped in my tracks. If I was you, I would stop. Take, take like a shortcut. My gut was telling me over and over not to go any closer to this woman. I didn't even have the courage to overtake her and walk on. That is so scary. Oh, she was in the back of the I'll, I'll rather run. I'll rather run. Where is my daughter? Oh, damn. I was frozen. I couldn't utter a word due to shock. My brain went numb. I didn't know how to answer her strange question. Out of fear, I pointed far, far away. Ah, yeah, what the heck? They messed it up for you. No, it's us, man. My this is crazy. The name is Hades, God of the Underworld. Good. To the woman. They're not pointing out there. To I just wanted her to go away. If she limped you, to where I had pointed you better to run. her. And she you better run. And she walked so far she away. She really come back. That Damn. I couldn't see her anymore. Why are you watching her? Just run. That's your opportunity. I was terrified of the thought that she might appear in front of me again. That so is I scary. ran as fast as I could. That is a scary that point, thing. My brain couldn't think about anything else. Other than finding someone is... who could help me, a car, it could or be a person, ghost. or anyone. That could be a ghost. And then, at that moment, I heard that woman screaming from far away. That is so scary. That is so scary. Yeah, I'll be freaked After out. that, I remember nothing. When I became conscious, I found out that my neighbor found me and he brought me home. I found this out from him that in 1998, there was a 32-year-old woman named Agatha. She had a 10-year-old daughter who also went to Eden Hill School. One day, while playing with her friends, she had an accident and died. Damn. Agatha couldn't bear the thought of losing her child. Oh, man, she, she committed suicide. That, that's crazy. That's crazy. After that, Agatha's ghost was seen roaming around in Eden Hill School and the surrounding area, looking for her lost child. She's still wandering, hoping to be reunited with her daughter once again. They trying to do a jump scare. 
All right, that's a good video by True Trey, man. That's a good, uh, that's a good horror story. That literally gave me, that literally gave me a chill down my spine, man. Like that really, like she really just came out of nowhere, running fast straight to that girl. But yeah, like I said, that was a good video by True Trey. I'm about, let me know y'all want me to react towards towards their channel, to their horror stories. So. That's a good video. Y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, turn your notifications on, hit the like button if y'all like. Follow me on Instagram. I'll see y'all next time. That gave me to chill down my spines. Seeing that.